everyone it's your girl Jenny I'm back with another video and today's video is on my current skincare routine and my favorite skincare products um, I wanted to recommend you some if you are in the market for any um, especially if you share my skin type my skin type is on the oily side um, I would definitely say it's a combination because at times I do get a little dry here but everywhere else is like super oily. Um, I do have some texture, I do have large visible pores um, and some pigmentation from past acne scars. Um, that said, the following products that I am going to introduce to you, um, if you don't know them already or are not familiar with them, um, are products that have drastically helped my skin um, as of I would say the past year now. My only regret would be that I didn't get myself started on these products earlier. So a few of these products you probably would have heard of already. Um, they're super popular uh, in the market, but I do feel like this brand is definitely super, super underrated versus, I don't know, some major brands that are, you know, in Sephora and Ulta and all that. It has visibly like reduced scarring. It just overall just balances out my skin perfectly and kind of situates my skin to where I want it to be. Um, and you know, with plus or minus other products that I eventually want to try from this brand, I'm sure that I will be at, you know, maximum of where I want to be with my skin. Um, but enough rambling, uh, let's get right into it. So the first product I wanted to uh, recommend and show you is this baby right here. Um, I know a lot of people are probably familiar with this. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So basically what I do is I get up in the morning or before going to bed at night, I wash my face with a foam cleanser. And after I pat myself dry, I put some of this on a cotton round and I go over my face and my neck. So this Obviously, as you can see from the title, it's a liquid exfoliant. What it does is basically it takes away all of your dead skin throughout from throughout the day or from makeup and you know just all that gunk, um, and it really smooths out the skin. Something I will say is that when you first if you haven't already used this product yet, um, when you first start on this uh, product, I would almost say like if you have thinner or more sensitive skin i will say why don't you go on this once a day so pick and choose like whether it's morning time or night time doesn't matter but maybe you do this once a day and then as your skin gets used to it you go to two times a day i say this because the product isn't like crazy like strong or like you know whatever but um i did notice that even my skin i have like thick oily like you know skin but you know my skin can take a beating trust me um, but I did notice some drying around the mouth and chin area um, so I feel like that's something to note um, but otherwise like you will see a drastic change in texture like your skin will glow almost um, and you'll see this like shine on your face not grease like you'll just see this like even textured silky smooth skin and I feel like everyone wants that <laughs> this product is this this is also a very very uh, popular product this is the 10% azelaic acid. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I may be butchering it. Um, it has licorice in it, which is very great. It also has salicylic acid, which is great, but I know that there are people who can't take salicylic acid. You also need to follow with a sunscreen in the daytime. Next product is this guy. This is the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster. This contains 15% vitamin C and vitamin E and ferulic acid. So this basically is your vitamin C on crack. Um, it 
is a very light formula. Um, I've used a ton of vitamin C products out in the market, both high-end and uh, you know affordable ones. And um, I will say that this, I don't know if it's because it's mixed with vitamin E and ferulic acid, um, but it doesn't give you that discoloration. Um, I, I can't remember, I think it was the La Roche-Posay um, vitamin C. It just instantly turned my hands and fingers orange um, and it like stained my um, pillowcase but um, this one doesn't have that effect I do want to mention as far as skincare is concerned um, I still go by like start out with the thinnest products and then lead into thicker more heavy products that's why I follow this after the uh, BHA liquid exfoliant next product I love 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 my only regret is that I didn't get started on this earlier but you probably all know this but it is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream this is an amazing product um, it has a whipped texture which is very nice it goes on smoothly and your skin starts to slowly drink it up um, it almost has this healing property to it I, I don't know how else to describe it but it just feels like I'm putting on medication in the best way possible um, but this has drastically drastically helped my skin with um, hydration um, previously I was using the CeraVe uh, nighttime moisturizer which also is wonderful but it's a lot lighter than this one um, so I suggest you kind of pick and choose and figure out for yourself which formula works better but um, I, I know I said that I have like oily combination skin but that has nothing to do with hydrating and moisturizing your face don't get that twisted because you can't just deprive your um, skin of moisture just because you're um, oily combination skin because that's how your um, skin starts to overcompensate and pump out the oil um, but yeah uh, in the summer I think the CeraVe nighttime moisturizer is a great product to go back to um, but in the fall winter slash transition season um, going into spring um, this has done wonders for me so far okay now the next two products that I'm going to share with you um, one is for nighttime following my moisturizer and the other one is following my moisturizer in the daytime for nighttime, I finish off with this. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I know that this is like a, a crazy fan favorite. Um, I think it was also all over TikTok and whatever, but you know, anyone who's into skincare has either heard or seen this at one point in their life um, and yes it deserves all the hype there is uh, because it this has really really drastically changed my skin um, you can use it in the summer or uh, in the winter it doesn't matter like what the season is um, I will say that I personally don't enjoy the scent of this um, and no it doesn't smell like roses I don't know like I don't know I can't explain what the scent is but I personally don't really enjoy it uh, but the texture of this oil is heavenly um, and also the best part about this is that it's so so affordable I think it's like $6.90 or something it's under $10 and it's just so amazing and trust me this will change your skin and yes for oily skin girls or guys like me this will change your skin believe me believe me the last product i'm going to share with you today i use after moisturizer during the daytime and that is the paula's choice sunscreen youth extending daily hydrating fluid broad spectrum spf 50. this sunscreen is super watery it's not like cream type or like balm type um it has no color it comes out white but it has no color like you can hear how watery it is it's that watery and um, but don't be alarmed like it's not like so watery that it's like 
my god, like this isn't doing anything. Like this probably is just like air. Like That's not what it is. It's just super lightweight and I feel like we can all appreciate that. It also doesn't give you the white cast, which is amazing. Also, as another benefit, this is a great makeup base. So if you are the type, I personally don't do primer, but if you are the type who, you know, uses a primer before your uh, makeup base, maybe if you try this, I think you would like it. Um, this just makes your skin just so hydrated and supple. It's so light that it doesn't feel like, oh my God, like I'm wearing sunscreen, like ew. I do use the uh, Super Goop tinted sunscreen and, um, that also works fine, but that is a tinted uh, sunscreen, so um, that's something also to note. But if you want to really just like keep it bare-faced and minimal, then this is your girl. And please, 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 even if it's not this, please follow your skincare in the daytime with sunscreen. Please, please do yourself a favor. Uh, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. For some reason, I'm super passionate about these products. Um, so hopefully, uh, this has brought you some help if you were in the market for some um, similar products and you know you were in between brands or like you were kind of iffy um, Again, I do think Paula's Choice is like super underrated and it definitely deserves a lot more clout than um, it has now and I am sold. I am probably going to be a forever customer. So um, yeah, I hope this was some help to you and I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, and uh, send me some video ideas of what you guys want to see from me next. Um, and yeah, bye guys.